Marvel, Tommy Lee. What? He's like 40 and looks like that. You set me up? You should have been a pirate. We know nothing like a little Johnny Depp to make a girl want to commit. I heard we got back together again. Tommy Lee, Pamela Anderson. Right. At the very least, we did just have a hot weekend together in Vegas. You want to dance? Unless you're seeing someone. No. Not exclusively. You okay? Peachy. Sorry, am I too late? I got lost. This new campus is totally confusing. I'm Rachel, by the way. Really? I thought it was Pamela. Oh, right. The party. That guy wasn't your boyfriend, was he? Huh. Okay. You were late. Now you're just wasting my time. Just hit your mark and I'll start the song. Actually brought my own song. Whenever you're ready. was a requirement. Lucas, in order for this to work, there has to be a balance. I kiss a guy, you kiss a girl. I kiss two guys. I kiss you twice. You kiss someone else. Which is why I'm gonna pick a girl for you. Say somebody like her. Okay, go ask her out. Go on. Really, you want me to ask her out? Yeah. You sure? I'm sure, she's the one. Okay, if you insist. Okay, we're done. You see how the tendrils frame her face? Oh my god, I look so hot. Thanks, Rach. God, you rock. <laughs> no, Bev, you rock. <laughs> hey, boyfriend. Hey. We still on for tonight? Yeah, about that. Here's the thing. When I asked you out, it was just to make Brooke jealous. I see. So, um, basically, you just took advantage of the new girl. Dude, it's just wrong. I'm sorry. Lucky for you, I'm into wrong. My address. Pick me up at eight. Yummy. Saw the no effects sticker on your locker. Figured you'd be into this. Super rare bootleg, recorded straight off the mixing board. Right, look, Rachel, Brooke's my best friend, so you can try to buy her off with your legal jargon, but you can't buy me off with a bootleg. Peyton, 
I'm offering to let you borrow a CD. Like, anything else is your baggage. Like, honestly, I'm just surprised the cheerleaders into punk. I didn't think anybody was that screwed up. I mean, besides me. Come on, Peyton, I'm trying here. Right, you do realize I'm the one that tackled you at Midnight Madness, right? Yeah, but I heard the rumors. I just figured you were into me. <laughs> Look, I get it. But some people just don't get along. But being friends with me does not mean you're betraying Brooke. Mm, you don't know Brooke very well, do you? Come on, you know you want to hear it. No, thanks. Doesn't mean I can't grab him before you get to the checkout line. Yeah, check this out. Oh, no. no. I could fantasize about this. Bevan! Ashley! Stop! I can't really blame them. I mean, they watched their captain go all kung fu hustle at Midnight Madness, and now they all want to look like Brooke. Hmm. Of course, that would mean a trip to Goodwill. <laughs> hey, Luke. My senior year. And as long as I am captain, I am not about to lose this squad because we are all fighting over the same guy. Bevan knows I like Fede. Too bad Fede's not into whore. Okay, enough. <laughs> Do you have a problem? Just waiting to hear what your plan is, Captain. My plan? I'll tell you what my plan is. We're waiting, aren't we, girls? plan is fantasy boy draft. Who wants cupcakes? Has everybody seen my new wall? It's, um, it's of the French Riviera. Italian Riviera, actually. Uh, excuse me, it's my wall. Well, your wall is of the Portofino Harbor. We vacay there every year. See? Here? That's the Spendito Mare. I met the hottest guy while staying there. So, you two bury the hatchet yet? Funny thing, I'm about to bury it in her throat. That's my necklace. No, it's mine. And I guess it comes with a matching boyfriend. Oh, you're not getting Lucas. Oh, really? Anyone who's caught breaking the rules will be kicked off the squad. So I guess I can have your captain spot, too. I think Brooke deserves a great big round of applause for orchestrating this whole event. <laughs> Anything else of yours I want, I'll let you know. I'll pick Mouth McFadden. Mouth goes to Peyton. Number one draft pick, baby. Woo! <laughs> hey, <Mouth>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brooke, you're next. Oh, Brooke, we need to talk since Peyton. No, not now, Haley. I pick Chris Keller. Huh? Chris Keller goes to Brooke. Oh, wow. Bevan, you're next. Uh, actually, I... there's been a trade. What? Well, you said we could trade, so Bevan traded me her number three pick. And I pick Lucas. Lucas Scott to Rachel. But she can't. I pick Nathan. Nathan Scott to Haley. Wait. I get skills. Skills to Bevan. Wait. I'll take Fede. Nyan. Zach. Dustin. Daniel. Javar. <laughs> this is awesome. Everybody got who they wanted. Great idea, Brooke. Hey, Rachel, come on in. Thanks. You ready? Uh. Actually, if it's cool with you, I was going to go see Brooke. Luke, you know I was messing with Brooke when I drafted you, right? And anyway, doesn't she have a date with Chris Keller? No, she wouldn't do that. I don't know. I've seen the guy. He's kind of fine. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk, too. Interesting. And definitely my type. Well, I was going to say we could get a workout in at the River Court. But instead, let's go to Brooke's house, and I'll officially trade you. You do that. You trade me. 
Yeah, why not? I can't torture Brooke forever. Well, I could, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Come on. Well, that's the last of it. Nice shooting, Tex. So are we gonna call it a night? Or we could play a new game. How about strip basketball? You know, I always figured if I met the devil that she'd be hot and holding the basketball. But I'm gonna pass. Because of Brooke, who's on a date? Okay, take your shirt off. Rachel. I'm not gonna touch you, you sissy virgin boy. I'm trying to make a point, take your shirt off. <sighs> All right, you say Brooke's the one. Your soulmate. Well, if that's the case, call upon destiny or providence or whatever forces are going to bring you two together and make the shot. Blindfold. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on, it's your destiny. You can't miss. Okay, can you see me? No. Okay, I trust you. Now follow my voice. Brooke's the one, make the shot. What happened? It went in. Nice shot. Make it, take it. Get yourself dressed, Rachel. Okay, that's the second time this month you've said that to me. You're gonna give me a complex. Come on. Why well, sell yourself short like this, huh? You guys are unbelievable. We don't give it up, you pressure us. We do give it up, and we have self-image problems, or we're sluts. You know, at my last school, we had names for guys like you, Luke. Gay. I mean, non-exclusive dating is a dream come true for most boys. So what's with the dorks at Trio? I mean, every guy is tragically hung up on somebody. Makes it kind of hard for a girl. Not if she's the girl. Let me be the first to say, great game. I am the first, right? Because I mean, wow. <laughs> you guys really sucked. My head wasn't in it. I know. It was in Brooke's bedroom, watching her ride Chris Keller. <sighs> you heard about that? I'm not one of those people who likes to say, I told you so, Lucas. Yeah. Who am I kidding? I love it. I told you. You need to move on, Lucas. To what, Rachel? You? To whatever makes you happy, but do it now. Live life for the moment, because everything else is uncertain. Take advantage of what's right in front of you. <laughs> I'm not hooking up with you tonight, Rachel. That is not even what I'm talking about. And it's me who's not hooking up with you. And it's also me who's not gonna be used to make Brooke jealous anymore. I'm better than that. And I know it. And you can figure it out too on your long walk home. Oh, Rachel, come on. Out you go. <laughs> See you at school. Mouth. You're totally screwed. Principal Turner wants to see you. I don't think I did anything wrong. I mean, did he say what he wants? No, because he didn't actually send me. I just need your help. But I had an appointment with the guidance counselor. Why would you let some burnout and a dead-end job tell you where to go to college? I mean, college obviously didn't work for her. Rachel, that burnout's my mom. See, I can joke too. But seriously, I need to get back. Okay. But seriously, just catch the counselor on our lunch hour at the soup kitchen. I need your help. Marvin McFadden? 
five, six, seven, eight. Cross the front, cross the back, turn around, and pop. Back it up. Whoa, stop, halt, cut. Why is everybody here early? Early? You're like an hour late. I don't think so. Unlike you, I've never thought there was a 13 o'clock. Brooke, Rachel said you wanted us here an hour early. And where did you two think I was this whole time? Late, as usual. Brooke, the classic's coming up, and we don't have a routine yet. And I figured since Mouth helped you out last year, we could maybe come up with one and surprise you. So, surprise. The only way I'd be surprised right now is if you were actually wearing underwear. Mm, guess no surprises then. <sighs> okay. I am the captain of this squad. It is my job to come up with a routine for the tournament. But the tournament's the same weekend as Rogue Vogue. You'll be in New York City. That's why you submitted my fashion designs. Surprise. Rachel. Question. What do Rogue Vogue and the Classic have in common? Answer? Brooke Davis. Nice try, but I'm doing both. How are you gonna do that? It's called You're an Idiot. One's on Saturday, one's on Sunday, and there's a flight smack dab in the middle. So you're gonna have to try harder next time you practice bitchcraft. <sighs> Won't she just be the busiest girl in hoe business? And you'll be taking a back seat. But I guess you're used to that. So glad we met when we were kids. Hello? Hello? You braved the storm for me? I braved the storm for you and say anything. Uh, your parents don't mind you having a boy in your room? Under three boys is fine. Under three beers, too. Although I tend to break both those rules from time to time. Want one? No, thanks. I don't really drink much. Suit yourself? What are you doing? Sorry, I... I just want to be able to prove I was really here. You know, like... in your bedroom. <laughs> You're so cute. Come on. Let's make it a good one. Hey, Rachel. Can I ask you a question? I get all that stuff about being confident, but... I'm still trying to figure out why you invited me over here in the first place. I thought we were going to watch a movie. Well, I know, but our friendship, why me? Are you kidding me? You are more honest and comfortable about who you are than most of the other guys in school. Is it that? Or is it because you thought it would make Brooke jealous? Um, no offense, Mouth, but I don't need you to make Brooke jealous. Great, I don't even get that. <laughs> there was something kind of cool about feeling like the pawn between two hot girls. Look, um, let me help you. Give you the benefit of my expertise. I can teach you how to become one of the guys the elite girls drool over. By being mean to them. Sometimes. Okay. Well, look, um, I'm not much of a listener, but I do have some tequila in my room. You interested? Perfect. Kind of weird, us hanging out. Nothing personal, I just never imagined the two of us kicking it. Well, we probably have a lot more in common than you think. Then again, we'll probably never get the chance to find out. I mean, I'm not Brooke's favorite person, and you are. She just doesn't trust you. And you do? Not really. I just wanted a drink. Hey, it's Bevan. Peyton's not in her room right now, unlike me, who's like totally asleep. Anyway, if you see a retail, she's bunking with you. What? Why? Because Haley switched rooms with Lucas so she could be with Nathan. Now Lucas is in Peyton's room because Brooke's not coming. But of course we can't put a girl in with Lucas, especially Peyton. So, Lucas goes there, Peyton goes in with you. Chelsea's staying with Ashley because I'm really sick. <coughs> Long story short, Peyton's in with you, Lucas is alone in her room. Okay, yeah, fine, I'll tell her. Oh, and uh, 
How skills high for me? What's up? Oh, Bevan wants me to remind you to bring your flat iron tour in the morning. And the stars are. What are they doing? They're uh, crying. Come on, for what we could have had. <laughs> okay. No, okay. I like that mine. It reminds me of Luke. I'm Jake. <laughs> Jake. Are you sure you don't mean Lucas? No. It's Jake. Well, whatever you say. Okay, well, look, I have to go to sleep now, okay? But, oh, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. You know, you're not the manipulative psycho I thought you were. <laughs> well, enjoy. Are you drunk? <laughs> Are you wearing eyeshadow? Hmm. Working through the pain. Well, well. Looks like somebody had a rough night. Says the girl who poured drinks down my throat and then dropped me off in my best friend's boyfriend's bed. <laughs> Look, I just led you to the door, sweetheart. We're not giant pandas, you know? You can't just put us together and expect us to mate. And do me a favor. Talk soft. You've got a terrible voice. Look, I was trying to help you out. I'm sorry if it's not what you wanted. You know what? You can't see it, but underneath my sunglasses, I'm rolling my eyes. Sweet. Unfortunately, my routine only meets nine girls, not ten. Which means you're gonna have to sit this one out, Captain. Well, I think we can manage, right, girls? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And watch me for the changes. Come on, girls, let's stretch. Pick it up, Peyton. Can't help it. Someone got me drunk last night. Go, baby! 